hey, I am home. So I just got back from DC and I thought I would update you on how the trip went. It was super fun. I had a great time. It was kind of hard to stay on program. Um, if you're not in charge of what you're doing every minute of every day, trying to make sure you eat every two to three hours is kind of tricky when people are like, you yeah, know, we're going to go out and when we get back, we'll get back. And you're like, okay, but, um, but I have to eat in two hours. <laughs> um, so my, my friend was super supportive. She tried to remind me like, hey, don't you have to eat? She made that super cute basket for me. So I don't think I did too bad, but I don't think I did too great. Um, I think the end of day 14 yesterday um, was a hard day. We went paddle boarding and I had a bar. I had the uh, ch chocolate drizzle bar in the car before we got to the paddle board place. And then I was like, okay, great. Like that was around noon. And I was like, okay, at like two o'clock, we're gonna go eat and I'll get like some sort of salad when everybody else gets lunch. The problem was we kind of paddleboarded for closer to like two and a half hours. And then it took some time to return all the equipment and we didn't actually end up getting to the restaurant until about 3.30. And I got my shrimp and my salad and everybody else got french fries and burgers and more french fries and drinks but i had my salsa water so i didn't come off program and i thought oh that's really difficult and then we went home and we had plans to go meet some of our other friends so we went over there for a little dinner party and they had pizza <laughs> and i was like Okay, I already had my lean and green. I am now gonna make a little penne in your microwave and I need a fourth of a cup of water. <laughs> it was a little ridiculous. Um, so they were all eating pizza and I had the little bowl of penne and the lady was so sweet. She was like, oh, it smells really good. And I was like, mm -hmm, thanks. Yeah, the pizza looks amazing, but I didn't eat it. And then her husband had made like a homemade dessert with like creme fraiche and berries. And I was like, mm, no, there's some salsa water, I'm good, thanks. Um, so I guess I stayed on program for the most part. So that is a win. Um, I'm gonna step on the scale tomorrow. I'm kind of thinking it's gonna be kind of more of a zero because I think a lot of my lean and greens I wasn't strict enough and I didn't tell the waitress like, oh, can you take this out? Can you take this out? And I think I maybe should have. Eh, live and learn. Okay, next time I'll just get the plain salad, the plain lettuce, with a little cheese and a little protein. And call it a win. Um, so let's see. Today I got up. I had my mocha shake. It's day 15. Um, I didn't have a plan, so there's no plan for today because I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Um, I had a peanut butter bar this morning and then at the airport I had the silky peanut butter chip bar. Um, my mom picked me up from the airport and I was chatting with her and I looked up and I was like, oh goodness, it's now been three and a half hours. So I had my Parmesan poppers, uh, which they don't make anymore, which is kind of sad because they taste like croutons and I kind of like them. Um, so now I'm home. I have one fueling left and one lean and green. God knows what's in that refrigerator. Uh, I'll make something. And hopefully tomorrow I get back a little bit on track and um, the weight starts coming off again. So I had a really great trip to the DC area, so I'm not sad. Um, I just think, I may have slowed down my progress a little bit, but um, who knows, maybe in two days I will be rewarded. That's what I would really like to happen. And the scale will be like, oh yeah, you did stick to the program. You didn't eat those nachos. You didn't eat the pizza. You didn't drink the drinks, right? Um, so, <sighs> almost done with day 15 and I will keep you posted.